Okay, so Christine's dad's on the phone. So do you, how do you hate LeBron this morning after what he just did to that wonderful city of Cleveland? Well, I, I, well, first of all, good morning, Colin. Good morning, Christine. Good morning. Hi, Dad. I just want to preface this with I don't agree with my dad on this. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dad. You rarely agree with me. But so I don't hate him for his talents. I hate him for who he is. And it started when Christine's brother, when he first was at Cleveland, sent me a video where he was going into a game and he, the ball boy was coming over to him to get his jersey and he turned around and he dropped it on the floor to make the guy pick it up. And he was like a 12, 13 year old kid. And then he, he, he removed his pants, his warm up pants, and he did it to the kid again and made it pick him up again. So that's when I started hating him. And then I just have hated him ever since because of his attitude. Yeah, but what, uh, what, know, he's very communal. I mean, like, you know, Jordan punched teammates and would not pass. Like, don't you like the fact that he, he actually players like playing with him? He wants everybody else to be involved. What about that part of him? I, I don't believe it. I always thought Michael made everybody that was on his team better. I, and he always would give credit to his teammates. I always felt like LeBron, it was always about me. You know, when he, he was doing interviews after a game, he was talking about him. He, he would sell out the bench. Even in, a, in this, the last series, he would sell out the bench when they didn't play well. When half of the time it was him on the floor that was being beat uh, by the, the second string. It, it's always about him. I, I think he's the greatest talent. Believe me, I think he is the best player in the NBA. I think he's the best player on the planet. I just think his attitude sucks. Listen to that. See, right? He so breaks it down. <laughs> so there's nothing, even, even though... Uh, so it doesn't bother you that these guys keep winning MVP, but when they face him, he just destroys them. You don't think he's getting jobbed on that stuff? Well, I'll give you that because he is the best player on the planet, and I won't mention his name. Christine's right. I refer to him as number 23. You I wouldn't even I just, say his name. <laughs> <laughs> now, did he, you... He's the best player on the planet, but but he's a jerk. I, you know, yes, he's great. <laughs> yes, he won the title, but he's a, he's still a jerk. Well, yeah, but isn't Kobe kind of a jerk and selfish? He doesn't like Kobe either. Okay, who? Yeah, what stars do you like? I love Kevin Durant. Uh, Kevin Durant's fantastic. I love uh, Jimmy Butler. I love uh, I love the Thunder. Uh, I, I even love Kyrie. I think Kyrie is fantastic. I think he's a great guy. I just the guy on his team. I just can't stand him, and not because of his talent. I, he's just a jerk. It's okay. all about him. What if I got LeBron on the show, and and I and he came on, and for 10 minutes, he was so great. Could you be swayed if you saw him, and I asked him <laughs> tough questions, and he answered them, and you liked the answer? No chance. No, I believe it. <laughs> There's no chance. <laughs> He'd probably call me and ask me to not show up that day. Wow. Yeah. All right, uh, Christine's dad, thanks. Love you, Dad. Thanks. Love you, too. <laughs> wow. I told you. He really doesn't like him.